So, Chainsaw Man, is getting a novel. And I am here to tell you why you should be getting hyped about this. First off, any more content with regards to Chainsaw Man is a good thing. I know all you people out there who have read and finished the manga are waiting impatiently for the next arc to come out, so this will hopefully tide us over for a little bit as we digest it and rip it apart for every little scrap of wonderfully twisted and insane story we can get. In addition, this story promises to give us insight into character which are no longer with us, rest in peace power, Aki, Himeno and possible Quanksh, that last one is still up for debate, but even so, having the possibility of getting to spend even a smidgen more time with these characters is a blessing because outside of flashbacks we might never get to see these guys again. This story promises to give us three completely new storylines, which have never been seen before focusing on the concept of buddies, focusing in one Denji and power, possible the strongest emotional relationship in the entire series, maybe just behind Aki and Denji depending upon your feels there. The second one is with regards to Aki and Himeno, a relationship which in the series proper we never really got to see too much of, because of Himeno's early death and while we got a better understanding of Himeno's feelings after her passing, as well as a greater appreciation of Aki's own feelings towards her through his actions post her death, we really didn't get too much of it in the series proper. The third and final one, one which takes my interest greatly, is about the time within which Kishibe and Quanksh were partnered up as buddies, this one, this one right here has the potential to make or break this book for me, because up until this point the relationship between these two has been one which we don't know too much about, yet despite that there is so much we can infer from the way they act and speak to one another that if this story isn't done with the right amount of care and attention, it could ruin their relationship for me because unlike all the other stories in this book, which have a manga to fall back on, the one between Quanksh and Kishibe really doesn't have that kind of backup if this story falls through. Now of course, I don't expect it to, in fact I have the utmost faith in the writing of this story, even if it isn't going to be penned by Fujimoto himself but rather Sakaku Hishikawa but I still expect great things from this, I doubt Fujimoto would allow someone he doesn't at the very least consider good at his craft to trample all over what is essentially his masterpiece. Now I want to go into why you should be hyped for the individual stories because of what I think will be within them, starting off with the Power and Denji, these two are the pair we know the most about, from seeing their day-to-day -day lives as they live together with Aki, to fighting together against devils and assassins alike. Power is one of the most popular characters in the series and Denji is the main character whose journey we have been following all this time. So why should we be hyped to just get some of what is certain to be more of the same? For that exact reason, these two never really got to explore their relationship as buddies in the series proper, with them getting thrust into one crazy situation to another, from getting trapped with the others in a hotel by the Eternity Devil, to fighting zombies and getting targeted by the Assassin's squads as bodyguards are forced upon them, to dealing with the trauma forced upon them by their visit to hell, the morning of Aki's passing and eventually Power's own passing, the two of them never really had time to just be partners with one another without someone interfering, we the audience know that the pair grew closer together, with Denji putting Power's well-being ahead of his desires for Makima demonstrating the depths of his devotion to her and Power returns the favor tenfold when she goes against Makima even knowing she doesn't stand the chance of actually winning against her. Power and Denji, are like best friends, who would put their lives on the line for each other, or siblings who bicker back and forth but, in the end, would take a bullet for the other. Seeing more insight into their growth can only be a good thing. Add on top of this, we could also get a better understanding of how the pair actually work together on a day-to-day -day basis, rather than only getting to see them when they are facing down some major threat, a day in the life of a regular devil hunter would be quite a fight to see, with the pair of them bickering but inevitable working together really well. And if I'm being honest, this is just tear bait, with us getting to read about them laughing, them enjoying themselves, being happy because we know how it all turns out, how everything inevitable crumbles away into the dirt and Denji is left behind with a hole in his heart and we the audience can't escape it, as every laugh, every joke, every heartwarming moment is just a twist of the emotional knife, 
given that this is Chainsaw Man, I can't expect anything less than complete and utter heartache, if you're expecting anything else then I suggest you leave now, because you're almost certainly going to be in for a world of hurt. I could even imagine that this entire section of the book ends off with Denji waking up from a dream in tears, remembering power and the time he spent with her just to really rip out your heart and stamp on it until it's a mass of mush on the floor. Moving on to the next pairing confirmed for the book. Aki and Himeno, are a pair which have such a profound impact on the story, yet we have very little information on the pair's early interactions, which is supposed to be the focus of this novel. Aki being one of the main casts we get to see him evolve from where he is at the beginning of the series, and we know the very start from where he came from, but we are missing a considerable amount of time from how he went from being a kid, to being the man we see at the beginning of the series. And he may know, despite being a side character, is a very well liked and was seemingly deeply in love with Aki, so getting to see how those two reached that point would be nice to see rather than just seeing how things ended up. It would be quite funny to watch as Himeno slowly fell for Aki, little by little, in fact we could even see her slowly fall for him completely over the course of the story. It would also be quite something to see, how Aki was in his early days in his career as a devil hunter, seeing him starting off as a potentially reckless individual willing to make devil contracts that might risk his life, we could also see how he goes from an absolutely hateful individual who couldn't even stand the idea of working with a devil, to someone who is more mellowed out by the time the series starts, which would certainly be something to see. And if it's the earliest parts of Aki's career as a devil hunter, we might get to see him making a contract with the fox devil and how he eventually started to give away his life to pay for the contract and how he may know reacted to learning about it, in fact I could see her getting real angry at him when she finds out, that could even end up being the major conflict of their entire story, he may know trying to convince Aki to quit and leave the force so that he doesn't waste the rest of his life, spurred on by the fact he made a contract that would cause him to slowly fade away and die because of it. We might even get to see he may know, sending letters out T6 trying to get some advice on how to convince Aki to quit, like we saw in the actual story. Whatever happens, this story might be the most restrained of the three, because it has a definitive ending point, the start of the series and it can't do anything which would create a plot hole in the series as we know it. Whatever happens, I am certain we can expect some more utterly heartbreaking shit, especially if we get some time with he may know, just on her own thinking about Aki, particularly when we know that no matter what she tries, both her and Aki die inevitable pointless deaths for the sake of Makima's goals. And finally getting into the last pairing we have for the book. This story, is the one which is the most important to me personally, because Quanch and Kishibe are characters we rarely get to see interact, with Quanch being axed within a single arc and then seemingly used as a meat puppet by Makima we never got to understand how she felt with regards to the ploy to stop Makima, the extent of her relationship with her fiends and Kishibe, the latter of which will be explored in this book. The issue I have with this, is that without a strong jumping off point like the rest of the stories, basically giving us what are two completely new characters, assuming that the pair of them changed significantly over the course of the book, we are going to find ourselves following two characters who are supposed to become the ones in the main story, but if the book doesn't at least hint at their future selves it's going to feel, to me like it's disjointed and that we are still missing something important for us to get a true understand of who these two were as characters. This is entirely my own option, but I'd like the story to be a bit more expansive on these two, give us more time for them to shine. I guess this would really depend on when the story is supposed to take place, will it be in the early stages of their career together or will it be towards the end of it, or maybe we will get brief snippets of different time periods they had together. Either way I'm super excited for this one, maybe we can finally get some answers. Like why did Quanch leave Kishibe behind, does she even age, why was Kishibe referred to as a mad dog, we might even get to read about how he made use of the devils he has a contract with as we never got to see that in the actual series proper and not even during the short flashback did we truly get to see it either. But overall, I am super excited for this to come out and just having more Chainsaw Man content is going to be amazing, 
But that's all I have to say in this video, if you enjoyed feel free to leave a like on the video, if you want to hear more of my thoughts on Chainsaw Man or sometimes other weeb related topics feel free to subscribe and ring the notification bell. I have been the anonymous weeb and I wish you a good day or night wherever you are.